Hi Geminis and welcome to your monthly reading for July 2019. I'm the Dream Medium and welcome to my channel. So I've already asked the question about what will the month of July 2019 be like for my Geminis and the cards that came out were the Lovers, the Chariot, and the Nine of Pentacles. So Geminis, I really need you guys to just listen to me because this message will be very intense and I, you know, it's not coming from me. This is just a message that I'm channeling for you guys. So please just be patient and really try to understand what this message is telling you. So starting with the lover's card, when I looked at this card, immediately the message that, that I got intuitively was that a lot of my Geminis, a lot of you guys for the month of July, you guys are going to be having an awakening, a huge realization about your connection, your relationship, whatever title you call it. When I saw the lover's card, what I got was that for a lot of you guys, most of you, just remember that this is a general reading, but I'm strongly seeing that a lot of you are finally seeing what you have been trying to ignore. For some of you, you've even been deceived into, into believing that this connection with your, with your love interest is something that is meant to be or something that is divine and it is not okay when i see this lover's card this is just what you believe you believe that your love interest and you are meant to be together for so many reasons whether it's the fact that the two of you can't stay away from each other i'm seeing that for some of you your love interest has a tendency of coming in your life and leaving going coming going coming and because of that, that doesn't necessarily mean that you guys are meant to be. It just, it could mean that you are um, easily um, accessible. You know, it, it, it could mean that this person just finds it easy to, to come into your life and leave. You know, it's a cycle that they keep you in and they know that they can take advantage of you because you have a soft spot for them. Just because someone always comes back to you doesn't mean that it's divine. It doesn't mean that you guys are meant to be. It just means that they're a taker. They see that they can take a lot from you and not have to give you back anything in return. So there's a lot of deceit. And it's, it's, it's almost like you, you, you're realizing that everything that you have thought of, this person and this connection with them has been a lie. With this lover's card here, understand that even if you feel a strong soulmate connection, we, there, are, there are many kinds of soulmates. Okay, the purpose of a soulmate is to teach us a lesson. Good soulmates come into our lives to help us grow, to teach us lessons. Bad soulmates, and there, there, is, there is such thing as a bad soulmate, someone who you have karmic ties with, someone who brings out toxic traits in you, bad habits in you. And even if they are a bad soulmate, understand that at the end of the day, their purpose was to show you that you also have certain traits that you need to work on. You also need to better yourself. When I see this lover, this lover's car, I'm getting that some of you guys, what you thought was love isn't love. You're, you're, you're finally seeing the truth. You're seeing the truth in, in, in this connection. For too long have you put such a divine title on something that's so toxic, on something that isn't love. When I see this lover's card, I see a lot of uh, codependency. A lot of you guys base the value of your relationship, of your connection on time. Perhaps you've been dealing with this person for a long time. So you feel like you just need to work through it and stick with them. Time is fluid. Time means absolutely nothing. You could know someone for 10 plus years and meet someone for only a month or two. And they could treat you so much better than the person who you've known for so long. It is very dangerous to force love. Love is a natural thing. It should not be forced. You shouldn't have to teach someone how to love you because if they love you, they would naturally treat you right. You shouldn't have to go through so much for love. It's, it's, it's natural. It's a natural thing. 
A lot of you guys feel like love is hard. That love is, is, is painful. Love isn't perfect, but love, love shouldn't make you cry every single day at night. Love shouldn't make you feel jealous. Love shouldn't uh, make you feel like you're not worthy enough. Love shouldn't make you feel miserable. Love shouldn't uh, keep you on your toes all the time trying to force this person to stay in your life, trying to do so much to please them just so that they won't leave you. That's not love. It's not. Love isn't perfect, but those, those, those things that I just described isn't love. A lot of it is lust. A lot of it stems from codependency. A lot of it stem, st stems from a fear that we have learned throughout a uh, past tra uh, trauma, but it isn't love. And I'm just heavily seeing with this lover's card that a lot of you guys thought so highly of this connection. You, For some of you, you even have the thought that this was your twin flame, that this was your lifetime partner. And understand that it is not up to you to put a divine title on your connection. It defeats the purpose of it being defined. Most times people in twin flame connections don't even know that they're in twin flame, flame connections. When they separate, you know, because typically in twin flame connections, there is a separation. When they separate, they don't separate because they already know about the twin flame love and they, and they think that that's what they need to do. It defeats the purpose. You know what I'm saying? If you, it, it, it means that now you are in control of something that you're saying is divine. A lot of you guys, and, and even when it comes to soulmates, you could have a, a, a very good soulmate in your life, but that doesn't mean that they are your lifetime partner. Soulmates are just here to teach us a lesson. Some people are very lucky to have a lifetime soulmate partner. There are connections that, I, that I've seen where two people love each other. The connection is great and healthy, but it just wasn't meant to be. I'm just seeing deception. I'm saying that for so long, you guys were deceived into thinking that your connection was something that it really truly isn't. And I'm not here to tell you, I'm not here to tell you, you know, what to do with your life because this is a general reading. But I, I would ask you and, and, and suggest to you to really reflect on this connection because I'm just strongly seeing with this lover's card, so many of you guys have put yourselves through so much pain for so long because you feel like it is just meant to be without realizing that you're forcing it. And if it was meant to be, y'all would come together. Y'all would be together eventually. You wouldn't have to do so much to force this person to be with you. Really think about it. That's all I'm asking. Next, you have this chariot card. For the month of July, like I said, for most of you guys, your eyes are opening. You're seeing how maybe, just maybe this person just isn't meant to be with me. A lot of you guys are having that real realization in the month of July. It hurts to admit it, especially if you had high expectations of someone. It hurts. I understand that. But with this chariot card, a lot of you guys are at least seeing that what you are experiencing with this person is not something that was good. It was not something that was good for your soul. It was not something that, that it's just not meant to be. For most of you guys, it was meant to be, the connection was meant to be a quick experience to help prepare you for your, for your true love, for that next phase in your life. But when, if you find yourself going back to the person or your love interest, always going back to them, that means that there's a lesson that you just weren't learning and, and the both of you guys were in a cycle. So with this chariot card, I'm very happy to say that for the month of July, you guys will finally have this realization and see that maybe, just maybe you were wrong about this connection and it wasn't as divine and high as you, as you thought it was. With this chariot card here, I'm seeing that a lot of you guys are finally realizing what you truly deserve and that what you were dealing with in the past wasn't even close to what you deserve. And so when I see this chariot card, I see preparation to go on a journey and to move forward. You're preparing yourselves. It's going to take a while. 
you know, you've already, you've already gone through this, this realization stage, most of you. And the next stage is just to prepare, prepare yourself, excuse me, to move forward. With this Knight of Pentacles, understand that you might be uncomfortable. Remember what I said about codependency. A lot of you guys were very codependent on your love interests. You were just comfortable with being with them. Even if they were treating you wrong, you felt comfortable that, they're, that, that they were with you. You know, just being so used to someone always being with you or being around you. And so now that you're, you're, you're by yourself, understand that with this nine of pentacle, you can be happy by yourself. You don't always need to be with someone. It will be uncomfortable, especially if you've been in a relationship or a connection, connection with this person for a long time. And now, you know, you're, you're, you're in this single life. It, it, it will be uncomfortable for you. It, 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 you know, it's going to be uncomfortable because it's, it's different, but just because it's different doesn't mean it mean that it's bad. Give it a chance. Give this single life a chance. You can be by yourself and still be content. It's very much possible. Take this time to work on yourself with this nine of pentacles here. This is confirmation that a lot of you guys will be abundant and successful individually. Not by being with someone, but individually, you will have a lot of success within your own self. Whether you'll be doing a lot of work on yourself internally, trying to be a better person, or whether you're, whether you're going to put a lot of focus on your career, your business, just know that this abundance comes from you and you only, not by being with someone. And that's such a beautiful thing because I think oftentimes... People try to find happiness in other people by being with other people, but I always question, what will happen when they leave? You cannot make someone your only happiness or your only source of happiness in your life because what happens when they leave? Do not give someone that power. If anything, find happiness within yourself, and then when you meet someone, they should add happiness to your life. You understand what I'm saying? By being with someone, someone that should add happiness. So Geminis, thank you guys so much for watching my monthly monthly reading for you guys and you guys have a great day.